This is Artifacts of Mars, and here's a rather disturbing story out of uh, Dubuque, Iowa. Apparently, when Obama's uh, HUD is doing, they're taking, they're forcing uh, Dubuque, Iowa to accept Section 8 low-income housing people there. Iowa had its, the Buke, Iowa already had its uh, own system, was point system, it was there for Dubuque residents. And they, uh, HUD said, no way. And according to the article, the Chicago shut, uh, tore down a bunch of its uh, most notoriously uh, crime-ridden housing, so they needed more housing. So where did they send the residents? Dubuque. In other words, they're exporting riffraff from their own city uh, to Dubuque. With more, with more sec, many more Section 8 applicants than it could house, Dubuque Institute, a low-income housing point system granting preference to Dubuque residents, county residents, state residents, and out-of-state residents in that order. Although HUD's rules ostensibly allow localities to craft their own housing priorities. The Buke's point system was deemed unacceptable by HUD. Feds undertook a review of the Buke's housing policy that effectively treated the city as part of Greater Chicago. I was listening to Jim Quinn on uh, the radio and he was saying this is straight out of Agenda 21, you went Agenda 21. This, of course, is ridiculous. Dubuque is 200 miles and four or five hundred, four or five hour drive away from Chicago, even without in traffic. And, of course, two cities are in different states. But uh, by effectively treating Dubuque and Chicago as part of the same region, Hub was able to declare Dubuque's low-income housing point system discriminatory. Since the vast majority of Section 8 applicants from Chicago were African Americans, the Buke's preferences for cities of its own city, citizens of its own city, county, and state were deemed racist. HUD insisted that the Buke would have, would have to omit housing applicants in conformity with demographics of the larger HUD-defined region. Somehow, Dubuque had become a satellite of Chicago. Uh, yeah, this should scare the living daylights out of you. Because, uh... Now we have this government agency deciding where people can live. We've been warning about this for some time now. Um, this is not actually that big of a surprise because they, uh, Obama's been wanting to do this. This is Agenda 21, sure. I agree with that. It's trouble, folks. A little bit more. Under HUD's detailed oversight, Dubuque must now actively recruit Section 8 voucher holders from the Chicago area. In fact, as of January 2015, the percentage of African American vouchers used in Dubuque was larger than the percentage of African Americans living in Chicago. The problem is that very few of these new public housing residents have ever lived or paid taxes in Dubuque or even Iowa. So there you have it. Uh, Obama is exporting Chicago's uh, crime problem to Dubuque, Iowa.
I don't know where all this leads, but it don't look good. Instead of working and getting these people self-sufficient, which is what should be happening, you're in trouble, folks. We've been saying it and saying it. Um... Uh, in a post AFFH world, every region in the United States will be compelled to meet nationally determined standards for the management and makeup of every aspect of local life. AFFH will also force local communities in, into regional consortia directed by what Thornton calls elect, unelected. Governing boards that do not represent voters. Those electorally accountable region commissioners, she con continues, will set targets from the desi desired percentages of types of people who live in each region. Cities and businesses buried under mounds of par paperwork will have no choice to submit. So, uh, you, uh, you're screwed, people, if you don't raise a hell about this. That's the bottom line. This is a mental disorder of liberalism on steroids. This is big-time trouble. I don't know what's going on in this country anymore. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.